Just to clarify, is new 5GC found in things like poultry, eggs, and fish? No, Kyle. New 5GC is not found in those food products. And even though they have been associated with uh, ischemic heart disease in some studies, the degree and the magnitude is much, much less than some of those other foods that we've been talking about that new 5GC is in, like red meat, lamb, pork, et cetera. And that's what's so tantalizing about this study and these studies on new 5GC is that it seems to explain the differences between those two foods. Well, what they were able to do is they were able to do a quartile graph of the new 5GC intake. And you can see here that as it went up, the amount of meat, dairy cow, and dairy sheep and goat went up. Now we have men here on the left and women on the right. You can see clearly that the amount of GC intake was significantly higher in men than it was for women, something that's interesting when we go back to look at the risk factors for COVID-19. And then when they looked at the antibodies circulating in these patients, and of course there's numerous different types of antibodies to 5GC because 5GC can be in many different types of positions on the glycans, on the cells, that when you added those up, there was definitely a correlation in terms of the amount of antibodies and the amount of food in terms of GC intake that was seen. So this, for the first time, connected together in human beings that the amount of new 5GC in their diet caused new 5GC antibodies to be elevated and therefore may be the connection to show that these things are the things in fact that lead to this chronic xenocyelitis or chronic inflammation.